deeper shades, the deeper shades. I have two. Two is incredible. That was, it's incredible. But it came out as a blah, blah, blah. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got Friday favorites and foodies for you today. And I would say that this week was a little bit of kind of like an opposites week because a lot of times I'm into warm tones. Like not always, but a lot of times I love warm tones, but I was really feeling like cool tones this week. So I have a lot of cool tone favorites. And then I'm not normally like a cream makeup product person. Normally I like, especially on my cheeks, like normally I like more powder products, but I have two, two. Why did I do that? I have two, <laughs> two cream products that I was really loving this week. So two, not two, that's three. Okay, anyway. We got some favorites to talk about, so let's get to it. First cool tone favorite for the week is one of my overall cool tone favorite makeup products, and it is the Coastal Sense Revealed Smoky Palette. I love this thing. I think this is so good. It's one of my go-tos if I want like a, just a gray smoky eye or just a more taupey eye look. It's so pretty. I like this better than my Urban Decay Naked Smoky Palette. Is that what it's called? Smoked? No, that was the old school one. Naked Smoky Palette. I like this one better. I think it's just so, so good. The blending shades are really nice. I do wish that there were more mattes in the palette. That's something that I would change about it, but it's just pretty. It's a really good palette. I'm not wearing it on my eyes today other than, I think I have that one and that one on my eyes, but other than that, I don't have any of the others on. I have something else on, but I wore it several times this week and just think it's amazing. I do have a look using this palette. And I think I used, is that the look that I used Gone Grage from Maybelline? I think, I'll try to remember to link it in a card. Don't mind all these marks. Chester and I were playing and he started taking it a little bit too seriously and he got me with his teeth. So anyway, there are the swatches. So pretty, they blend really nicely. They're easy to work with, really nice eye looks. They wear well throughout the day. It's super affordable. I think it's an awesome palette. I really do like the Revealed 2 palette. Not so much the one, really didn't like the three, but I do really like the two and love the smoky. Now what I have on my eyes today is this palette right here. I got this palette and one other item from Octoly to try out this week. This I really enjoyed, the other product, not so much, so that's gonna be a semi fooey in a second, but this I really did like. This is the Kiss New York Professional Goddess Palette, and this is in Demeter. This is a really neat palette because it's kind of like opposite ends of the spectrum. There's like some really cool tones, like grays, purples, taupes, and then there's some really like warm tones, very peachy, golden sort of shades. Really didn't play with these as much this week. I have a little bit of this on the inner corner of my eye, a little bit of that on the inner corner of my eye, but mostly these, and these were the ones that I was grabbing for this week. So this is a nice palette. I think it retails for like $6. I don't know if this is in stores yet, but I know you can get it online. Um, but I like it. Like it really does swatch well, perform well on the eyes. Um, this gold, I wish it was a little bit more pigmented, but overall I would say for the price tag, I think it's good. And I really do like these cool tones. So that's what I'm wearing today and I like it. I wore this one twice this week. I wore the Revealed Smoky more than this, but really, really nice. I mean, that one is pretty. These look so bad. Chester, that was not nice. But anyway, hopefully you can still see the eyeshadows here. So yeah, this one I was liking. So two cream product favorites for cheeks this week. First off, I've mentioned this before. This is Benefit's Dandelion Dew. I love this and I really don't hear a ton of people talk about it adorable packaging. The packaging just makes me want to dance because it's so cute. But also, I love how this works. I love the color of it. I love how it blends into the skin. I love how long wearing it is. It just is like an easy cream product to use. Like a lot of times that's why I don't like cream products because I find that they disturb my makeup underneath. They don't blend very well. They kind of look patchy on my cheeks, but this, I just find this so easy to work with. I love it by itself. I love it under things. 
it's just gorgeous. So I do have this on today. I don't have anything else on as far as blush. I do have highlighters on, but this was the only thing that I wore today. I wore it by itself this week, but also under some other things. It's awesome and it smells really good too. Like kind of, oh, I don't even know how to describe it. It's like perfumey, but very fresh and light, like almost like Viva La Juicy. It's not exactly like that, but something in that direction, just very like fresh and light, but yummy. So I love everything about it. Packaging, scent, ease of use, performance, color, all of it. I think it's awesome. And then a cream highlight favorite this week. This is amazing. This is so over the top highlight and I love it for that reason. This is the Maybelline Master Strobing Liquid Illuminating Highlighter, and this is in 100 Light Iridescent. I do have this on my cheekbones today. I had something over it, but this really don't need anything over it because it is intense and gorgeous. Oh my gosh. It's like a very light champagne-y pink icy sort of a color. It's intense. Like if you put a lot of this on, you're gonna have an intense highlight. If you put a little bit on, you're still gonna have an intense highlight, but just not quite as intense. But it blends really well. It wears really well throughout the day. Looks great with dandelion dew. It's just so pretty. Oh my gosh, I love it. It does have um, like an alcoholy smell when I'm applying it, but I don't mind the smell of alcohol. It smells very clean, so that doesn't bother me at all but that's just an FYI. So yeah, love the packaging on it. Love the pricing on this. It's so intense and beautiful. It's incredible. That was, it's incredible that it came out as a blah, blah, blah. And then a powder highlight that I've been wearing over that, and that's what I've got on today, is this little duo that I got in my BoxyCharm. This is by Vintage Cosmetics. This is the Illuminating Face Highlighter Set, and this is in Rose Quartz and Chocolate Diamond. This is so nice. I loved the first one that we got in our other boxy charm, and this is just gorgeous. I really haven't been reaching for that one as much, but this one is what I've been wearing over that strobing liquid. Did I just swatch both of these? Yes. Making sure I didn't swatch the same color twice. That would not be helpful. So really just the more pinky shade is the one that I've been grabbing for, but they're both really pretty. And I feel like they're pretty like, versatile colors. I feel like this is going to work for a lot of different skin tones. So pretty, but look at that pink. Ooh, that pink is so pretty. I love that. So, but you see how it's kind of a little bit of a deeper pink. So I, I think it's going to work for more skin tones. Um, really, really light complexions like porcelain. You might have to do it more as like a blush topper. And this one might have to be like more of a glowy bronzer sort of a color or just for your eyes. But I feel like most everybody else, it'll work on the cheekbones. So it's so pretty. It's amazing by itself too. Really pretty over that strobing liquid. They're just awesome. They blend like a dream. They're easy to work with. They're super pigmented, but not, um, not pigmented to the point of being hard to blend. They have a really nice kind of buttery sort of a texture to them. So they are so good. And this little packaging right here is so cute and vintage. It just makes me happy. For lips this week, again, I was going for more kind of like neutral, nude, everyday sort of colors. And I grabbed two of these. I haven't worn these in forever, but I really enjoyed them this week. These are the Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquids. First, let me talk about this one because I wore this one by itself and also with some lip liners. This one is in Nude Flush. So this one is the more kind of like pinky nude. So it's it's a pink, but it's very neutral and kind of like a like a nudie, rosy pink. So it's a great everyday sort of color, but it's still got that like girly pink vibe to it. These are really an interesting formula. They kind of like start out moussey and they do move around. They do get on your teeth. And that happened to me this week. And luckily I noticed it before I went around smiling at everyone, but it does get on your teeth. So do the little like finger trick to, you know, not have that happen as much, but they do move around at the beginning, but then kind of once they, once they set, they're sort of more just like a moussey matte lipstick sort of a thing. So they're not a full on liquid lipstick by any stretch, but I really do like them. I like how they set down. Like once they kind of set down a little bit, I like them a lot because they really don't move a ton at that point and they're comfortable. They do have a perfumey scent to them for sure. 
and a perfumey taste, but I think I've worn them enough like when I first got them that I kind of got over that scent, so it really doesn't bother me very much now. Now it's sort of like I'm used to it and it's not that big of a deal, but if you're sensitive to smells, this definitely has a perfumey scent to it. But yeah, really like that shade. The other one that I wore this week, which is the shade that I'm wearing today, this one is Nude Thrill. Now I wear this one with a lip liner. It doesn't necessarily need a lip liner, but that just kind of like, I don't know, helps give a more crisp line. Um, and these may bleed a little bit on people. I really haven't noticed that a ton, but they are a more kind of moussey sort of a formula, so they could move a little bit. So a lip liner may be a good idea. So anyway, tangent, I wore this color with a lip liner. So this one's Nude Thrill, and it is a nude, but it's definitely not one of those nudes that doesn't work by itself color wise because it's got enough like depth to it it's really a pretty nude and then the liner that i wore it with um that i have on today with it this is the sephora rouge gel lip liner in rosewood and this is kind of more of like a i don't know neutral brown rosewood sort of a color so there they are really pretty so this one's pretty dark so i just apply it really lightly what i do is put this on first then I do the lip liner just around the side. So more, it's more for the ombre dimension effect versus like, you know, the helping with longevity and the not bleeding. Because if you're going for that, you probably want to put this on first. Whereas I'm just trying to get more of the color on there blended into the other one. So anyway, hopefully that makes sense. So just a really pretty nude combo, but this is great by itself too. This would be great by itself. These are really nice by themselves because they're more like, very creamy and they're one of those lip liners that works as a lip liner but also as a standalone lip color as well and my fooey this week is sadly the other thing that i received from octoly to try out this week this is the kiss new york professional contour kit so this is what the outside looks like and then you open it up and you open it up <laughs> and you've got some like instructions so you're supposed to get a highlighter a bronzer and a contour and then they have a little diagram there so that's really nice this does come with a little brush um it's okay i mean you know if you were in a pinch like functionally it would work but it's not horrible but it's not that great um i think really the main issue is i think i picked the wrong shade maybe um this is in light and it is really light like real 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 light so there's the highlighter I guess that this is supposed to be the bronzer and then this is supposed to be the contour. But I mean, somebody would have to be super, super porcelain for that to work as a bronzer. So that was what it was like that made me kind of go, I, I don't understand. I'm confused. They're not like bad powders. Like they don't have a necessarily like bad um, texture to them, but they just don't have a lot of pigment to them and the contour is really warm toned, there is something there, I promise. You just really can't see it. So that's why I say like, I'm not really sure. I think it's a combo. I think it really just isn't super pigmented, but also this color just really doesn't work for me. Like it, it doesn't have enough color to it. So I probably chose wrong, but then also, I definitely chose wrong, but then also mixed with, I think they're just not super pigmented. So maybe the deeper shades, the deeper shades, I don't know why I said it like that, the deeper shades would have more pigmentation to them and just work better. Um, but this one just was a fooey for me. All right guys, so those are all my favorites and my fooey for this week. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please hit a thumbs up if you did and let me know down below what you were loving this week or maybe not so much loving. Let me know your weekend plans or any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.